Greetings. I am going to read a story in English, and I want to help you read in English. And you can share or view this video together with your children. This video will help um, younger students or even students in high school and middle school to review about literary concepts. For example, when children in school read a story, after they read a story, their teachers will often ask them, well, what's the main idea of the story? What kind of genre uh, this story is? So uh, the main idea, uh, simile, uh, genre, these are literary, literary device, literary term that the classroom teachers will ask uh, we'll ask the students uh, about the text, about the story, about the passage, or the paragraph that the student read. So I want you to read the story along with me and, um, and help uh, your children if they are interested in reading so we can uh, practice reading and learning how to read in English. Uh, together, okay? So, the name of this story is um, The Earth and the Sun. The Earth and the Sun. Long ago, a man was thinking about the sky. He was thinking. I'm Howard, I'm the man, I'm a man. So I was thinking, oh, I'm thinking. So he had been watching the sun for days. He began to see it in a new way. Earth is going around the sun, he said. At that time, most people thought the sun went around Earth. They thought Earth was the biggest and the best thing in the sky. The man said, I must write a book. It may take people angry, but I must tell the truth. The man did write a book, but he never saw it printed. He died in 1543. The book was printed later that year. People were angry when they read the book. They wanted to think everything went around Earth. Today, people know that the man was right. So again, what is the name of this story? So my name is Howard. What is your name? Everything has a name. This is an object. And the object of this uh, is a phone. So the name of this is the telephone. So this is a mouse. This object has a name. The name is a mouse. So this is a story. This is a short um, essay. And this essay or this story has a name or a title. The title is The Earth and the Sun. Now, this story has three, three short paragraphs. Three, three, three short, three short paragraphs. Together, it makes one story or one essay, okay? So now, a man. So this story talk about long ago. So when something that is long ago, it was like in the past, uh, many, many years ago. So today we are in um, 
2020. So long ago was uh, 1900 or the year two or in the year of uh, five in the year of 20. So long ago, very, very long time ago. A man thinking about the sky, he. So he is the man, okay? Um, so he been watching the sun. This is the sun. So you see here, okay? So this is the sun. As you can see here, this is the sun. This is the sun. And this is the earth. This is the earth. So as you can see in sentence one, a man. Then this change to he, the sun. Then as you can see here, um, so the sun, see here, the sun, what is the, the, this is the earth. The earth is going around, it's going around the sun, you see? The earth is going around. This is the earth, it's going around the sun. Remember, the sun is a star and it doesn't move. The sun stays in one place. It is the earth that move around the sun, okay? So, okay? So when we have the sun, the planet, together, we say the solar system. This is the solar system. So in the solar system, you see, all of these planets, they move around the sun. They move, they travel, they orbit around the sun, okay? So as you can see here, sun is it. So instead of say sun again, we can say it, okay? So book, see, the, in sentence eight, the man did write a book, but he never saw it. Well, instead of using book again, we can change book to it, okay? Um, so he, uh, day, I, it, I, he, he, they, they. These right here are called pronouns. He, she, it, they, we, you. These are called pronouns, okay? Now, you see here, earth is going around the sun. Quotation, he said. This right here is a quote, okay? Um, we use a quote to give um, credit to cite um, the exact statement that someone already mentioned in the past, okay? The man said, I must write a book. It might make people angry, but I must tell the truth. The man said, opening quotation mark, closing the quotation mark. It's from I to truth, this is, these are the quotes taken from the man. Okay, all right, so we just read the story, okay? We just read the story, and I hope you understand what this story is about, okay? So, what is genre? Genre, what is genre? Genre is a French word, and we pronounce genre. So, genre is a, it's a type of story. So when you begin to write a story, you have to think, okay, am I going to write a true story? Am I going to write a short story? Am I going to write a uh, false, not true story? So what kind of story you will use? What kind of genre you will use? So genre can include uh, fiction. Fiction means not true. Or nonfiction, which is true narrative fairy tale or a myth fairy tale is based on children's story that talks about um, uh, a land with um, magic okay something that is magical like um, beauty and the beast uh, from, uh, Prince of, um, beauty and the beast uh, cinderella okay um, myth uh, a myth is a, a genre that discusses about um, a character which can be um, 
a person or an animal or an object that has supernatural power. Okay, then we're talking about uh, so in this story, the earth and the sun, talking about a man uh, who thought the earth was uh, in one place and everything going around the earth. So what genre is this? So if you say narrative nonfiction, then you are correct. Okay, this this story here is called narrative nonfiction. So what is narrative nonfiction? So a narrative nonfiction is a story or an essay or a short paragraph, but the story must have characters. In the story, you must have a conflict, you have a problem. In this story, what is the conflict? Well, the problem or the conflict is that people were angry at him and because they thought the earth was um, flat and everything doesn't go around the sun, that they thought the sun is the opposite direction. They thought the sun go around the, the planets instead of the planets go around the earth. Okay, so well, when you have a narrative, uh, you have to make sure that you present the characters. In this story, the character is who? A man, okay? And he has uh, the beginning, the middle and the conclusion. So that's a part of a narrative. So then what is nonfiction? So nonfiction here is a kind of genre that is true. So if I say Lisa is a person, that is nonfiction. If I say Lisa is a beautiful lady, well, she may be beautiful, but she may not be beautiful. Then Lisa is a beautiful lady is fiction, something that is not true, something that cannot be verified, okay? Uh, so nonfiction is a kind of genre that tells a true story about a person, place, thing, animal, and idea, okay? So what is the meaning of the word purpose? Purpose, so let's say I'm going to work. The reason, the purpose, I'm going to work is to make money. Um, let's say I'm hungry. Well, then I'm going to eat. What, what is the purpose of eating? Well, I was hungry, so I'm going to eat. The purpose of eating is to make me feel happy, make me feel not hungry again. So in this story, um, there's a purpose. The reason why he, first of all, you decide to write a story. You need to know what kind of story you're going to write. And you need to make sure that you have a purpose. So a purpose can be a goal, can be an objective, can be a mission, or something that a person wants. So what is the author's purpose of this story titled The Earth and the Sun? What is the author's purpose? So when authors or when writers write, they have many different purposes. They want to inform, give you facts, they want to entertain, make you happy, make you feel exciting when you read about the story. Um, they want to explain how to do something, or they want to make you believe in their ideas. So uh, author can write to inform, author can write to explain, author can write to persuade or convince, or they can write to entertain, okay? So the earth and the sun, okay? So based on this story, what is the author's purpose? If you say the author's purpose is to entertain the audience with informative accounts or details of a person, then you are correct. So this genre, this story, has a purpose and the purpose is is to provide um, informative yet entertaining about a story about a man who thought uh, who was thinking about the sun the sky and how he think that the earth is going around the sun and after he thought about that he went on and write a book but before his book was able to publish he died okay so this is what the story is about I hope you had uh, uh, a good time listening to me. 
uh, and you and your children can read and share this story together. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, please like, so I can continue to give more uh, educational uh, um, videos that you can learn to practice English. At the same time, you can have your children learn how to understand reading concepts in school. This is Howard.